we've introduced a tool, I've had it around for a while, and I just love this tool because it takes this idea of uh, extracting in a shell or a mid-surface and makes it so extremely, so simple to do. Uh, what I could do that you see in this model, there's a lot of surfaces going on. There's, there's uh, thin body surfaces or, or parts everywhere, but also um, things that have a uniform cross section as well. And for that, I'll use uh, our beam functionality. For now, let's just talk about mid surfacing. I have an option to be able to select all the bodies in the model using a range, so I don't have to get them individually. Space Claim sifts through and finds what it can and makes a mid-surface out of all of them. Now I probably need to crank up my uh, the, the parameters for how the size that I'm looking for on the model so I can find something. And you can always play with those parameters. I think I need to go up a little bit higher. I forgot what those values actually are on this model. Okay, there we go. It identified the offset pair on each of those bodies I selected. You have a blue and a green face, so a nice color differentiation to tell you, yes, it can find a mid-surface. And I can click on all the surfaces or all the bodies that I think I want to create a mid-surface on, or just drag and do a giant box select. Once I click the green check, it takes one or two seconds to find those, and I've got mid-surfaces everywhere. Now a few of them I didn't select. I must have missed those in going along, so I'll grab those and I'm done. I mean, that's a lot of mid-surfaces I created instantly. If I look in the structure tree, there's probably oh, a good 30 of them, I would say. 30 mid-surfaces, just like that. Okay, for a moment, I'm going to hide the mid-surfaces because I want to focus on everything else on the screen. These, probably not, I don't need to extract a mid-surface out of, but because it has a uniform cross-section, each of these do, I could extract a beam out. Great functionality that we've added to create 1D elements for all these. And so once I box select these, Space Claim identifies all the beams it can create. And generally, you know, when you're in the structural realm, my understanding is you care about, you're trying to get the basic structure you have in place so you can assign cross sections to these as you want as you go along, but to extract these out, put them in the correct position, that's very much of importance. And we let you do it on the fly. Now let's bring the mid-surfaces back because the, you know, the work's not over. It's far from done. Sure, I've extracted out mid-surfaces and beams, but there's still some problems in the model. You know, I can't guarantee you that all the junctions come together perfectly, and you guys that do this know exactly what I'm talking about. Let me zoom in to show you what might be going on in this model. Take a look at the yellow. That's the cylinder. I've got a blue, a blue surface that's sort of protruding into it. And if I zoom over to a little bit, to the, to the right a little bit, I've got one of those beam elements going way too far and going through that cylinder. don't want that to happen. I want sort of a, a point to surface fit. So, you know, I, I extracted a lot of beams and a lot of mid-surfaces, but it's not necessary for me to go through and find all the problems individually and use those tools like pull, move, fill, and combine to heal those up. Sure, I could, and it might be relevant with just a, a model with one or two, but I've got a lot on here. There's a tool in here called Show Contact, and it gives you an idea of where your, where your contact points are, but where your problems might be as well. Let me zoom in. You know, we tell you where anything in blue is where you've got two or more things coming together in contact with each other. So in this case, uh, a dot, tells me there's a, there's a junction of a line, a line element, and a surface. But that red dot means that's an endpoint on its own. So I know I don't want both of those. Coming over to the other side, I've got areas where there's, I know there's two surfaces I have selected, but I've got a red edge in between them. So that tells me there's a problem. So this is a great tool to give you a quick visual indicator of where you may have issues. We don't leave it right there and tell you where the problems are. We give you tools to be able to fix that. Namely, in this, in this suite of tools to prepare a model, there's an option to attempt to extend surfaces, edges, points, or, cut, or trim them back. And again, we do it in this automated fashion. So I've just found, let's see here, I found 31 areas that are of concern for me. I can click a green checkbox and Space Claim will trim back 
all those line elements and necessary surfaces that it found and making this much more realistic and workable for me. Now, what it did is it actually extended some surfaces and trimmed maybe some of the line elements out, but I have an option to, to trim a couple of surfaces back. Uh, I'm going to change my, my search criteria a little bit because it's finding more than I want to. Maybe I'll drop that down to something like one. And yeah, here's a case where those blue surfaces extend a bit too far and interfere on that yellow cylinder. But let me go back, because when I showed you that show contact tool, I mentioned that there's a couple surfaces that really should have a common edge, but they don't. And if I zoom in really closely, let me exit that tool, you'll see there's a mismatch between the two. The mid-surfaces were off a little bit. And Space Claim did its job correctly. It found the mid-surfaces, but the way those were defined is there was a slight step in them. So maybe you want to correct that. Very easy to do. I could just take the Move tool and say, let's move those surfaces until they go up to that one in the middle. So now there should be a nice, clean line fit uh, between those two surfaces. And I'll do the same thing up above. Grab those two and move them up to another. Now when I use that Show Contact tool, there's a blue edge, and that's what I'm looking for. So that's solving some of my issues right there. Let's go back into that Extend tool, and I'll finish this up. So when I uh, increase the, I think I've got the maximum distance where I want it. Yeah, now I can put that option to tr trim surfaces, and it will trim all those back accordingly. And it fixed 13 problem areas. So this is a common thing that people have that we find all the time, a geometry problem where uh, you need to clean up surfaces, solids. We give you the suite of tools to get it done very quickly, faster than uh, people were ever able to before.